So apparently, allegedly, they finally got the person who deleted Tupac, the world-renowned famous rapper and actor, from the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a crazy story. This is crazy. I actually went and looked into this before I even decided to talk about it. And I was like, why not? F it. So this guy, I think his name was like Keefy D, whatever. Supposed to be like a super well-known gangster in the hood. He was doing interviews with someone by the name of Vlad, right? Vlad, whatever. YouTuber. Used to be a quote-unquote DJ. All he really did was steal people's songs, put it on mixtapes, sell those mixtapes, complain about being sued, and then start a YouTube channel and copyright strike people's channels down because he doesn't want his content to be stolen. Crazy how the world works, right? But yeah, he does interviews with people. I know him more for being a cop because he, he will ask you a lot of crazy, nasty questions that definitely can endanger you as well as incriminate you. And he doesn't care. He just wants that clout and clicks those views. So he's interviewing this person. And I guess this person wrote a book. A book isn't really that, I guess, what, what's the word for it? Admissible? It's, it's hard to prove certain things from a book in court, right? So DJ Vlad takes this book and asks this guy a bunch of questions, even though the guy says, I can't talk about this stuff involving court or anything, and says, hey, didn't you say this? And then you say that and blah, 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 blah. And this guy, all he literally says is, yeah, mm-hmm, yup, which is him confirming a lot of nasty claims and crimes. And that was used against him in court and he got arrested for it. They've even come out and confirmed that, oh, no, it was not no book that we used for evidence. It was the interview. We 100% used the interview he did with this guy and we got him. So without endangering my life, hopefully, um, but if anyone listen, I will call the cops. I don't care. I'm not a gangster. I'm a civilian. I will call the police. But um, I have to say, this this guy's one of the dumbest criminals in the world. First of all, how many rappers then got arrested for doing interviews with DJ Vlad? Like a lot. A lot go out there and get exposed. And these rappers just keep deciding, hey, why not? Why not? Let me just go out there and interview with Vlad again and let him ask me a bunch of incriminating stuff and whatever um i don't want people to misunderstand this as me saying that like i'm defending the person who allegedly took part and what happened to tupac if you don't know about that in full detail maybe i should make a separate video but tupac got into a fight him and should beat somebody up this person went to the guy that i'm speaking about now that did the interview and said hey i need the blam blam tooly tooly that pew pew he gave him the pew pew and Tupac's no longer alive. Now, neither is the person who allegedly used the pew pew. But now they're getting the person who gave him the pew pew. So, yeah, I, I don't want anyone to think that I'm defending this guy. I have no sympathy for him in any way, shape or form. I do want to say that he is not only nasty. But it seems to be really foolish, right? Really foolish trusting Vlad. And then what did Vlad do? DJ Vlad is going around telling people he solved the Tupac case. If you ain't, his mother, he going around telling people he solved the Tupac case. The disrespect is real. It's like, it's crazy. Catastrophic even. <laughs> It's, it's, it's nasty out here in these streets. Straight filthy. But yeah, that's the update of what's going on with Tupac. If you want to see the guy, here he is right here. Keefy D. <laughs> looking crazy. on like Looking crazy. You see how old he is? This guy is foolish. Oh, one thing I do want to point out too before we even switch to another topic is there's a clip going around. I'm not going to show it because I'm not trying to risk my channel, man. I'm trying to show as least amount of clips as possible. But there's a clip going around where he states, hey, he diddy, Puff Daddy. He used to show us a lot of love. 
we showed you love. Nothing bad happened to me until I started hanging out with you. Why you don't show me love no more? Hence, hence, that's really crazy to me. Um, a lot of people are accusing Suge of being the mastermind and setting things up. What a lot of people also don't know is that Suge was in the car when Tupac had the pew pew after him and his head was grazed. I don't think someone's that gangster that they would be like, yeah, we won't set it up. And then you can almost take me out the game too as well by like a centimeter. Nah, I don't think so. Um, but these people say, hey, shout outs to P. Diddy sounds crazy to me. Especially knowing that the quote unquote rumor allegedly that's been the thing that's been out within the hip hop community for years is that P. Diddy was offering like a, a bunch of money to get a death row chain. Right? How would someone get a death row chain? You think someone's gonna you think someone from death row is gonna just say, Hey, you can have my record label chain, rival company? Now, if this was true, that means that P. Diddy would probably be offering allegedly, if this was true, that means that he's blatantly saying, I want someone to go after them and take that chain. But we do not know this to be true at all. We don't know. It's kind of like an underground known thing that we don't know for sure. Right? It's just, it's, it's weird. Kind of like the, the Dr. Dre stuff. That we're not going to get into right now, but kind of like that. Yeah, this is crazy. Let me know what you think in the comment section.